Eli, what's the latest you've ever been told uh, uh, you're going to be playing quarterback uh, on, <laughs> on Monday? I mean, you know. I think by Friday, you kind of had, yeah. Friday, I was always doing by Friday whether I was on a play or not. Yeah. But, I mean, the Patriots didn't tell us who was going to play. I don't think they told Mac or Bailey either. I think they truly just told them earlier today is my guess. I did get to talk to Coach Belichick and always uh, – an exciting conversation when you talk to him on the phone. Uh, the ankle looked pretty good right there, Pate. Mac Jones, I mean, he's never known for being a great runner and a speed demon, but, you know, at least he's getting out of the pocket. At least he, he feels comfortable where he can move in the pocket and buy some time if he has to. That wristband was, was about to come off. I mean, Eli, the second flap, it, it, you know, it's not Velcro tight enough. It kind of it's slowed him down. Guy, try, to, try to rip that off. You like kind of look on the sideline. You like have a it's, copy of it. It's the plays. We have, we have all the plays. There's your five man rush you talked about, E. That ball came out funny. Now, who am I to talk about a wobbly pass? But that ball, that ball came out funny. I, uh, it's, a, it's a little wet, it's a little slick. Yeah. Be hard on those RPOs. You don't know, you know, it's hard. You're getting the grip just to hand the ball off, and then you got to throw it. It's different if you're getting the ball ready, knowing you're going to throw the ball right away. Yeah. That looks slick. I, mean, I, I, I threw a lot of wobbly passes in my career, so you can still complete them. That one just got away from them a little bit. Mr. President, Eli was approached by TMZ last year. They asked him, who is your dream guest on the show? And he said it was you. I assume you were watching TMZ and felt pressure to come on the show, right? I have to confess, TMZ is not on my uh, you know, remote, really. But uh, that, I, I was flattered when I heard about this, Eli. Thank you very much. Uh, the main reason I'm on, though, I think, is actually Cooper. Uh, he called me up. Uh, and after wow. seeing him on those Caesars wow. heads, I thought, you know, uh, how could I turn him down? Oh, Coop's never going to be the same after that. Mr. President, a lot of athletes talk about the difficult transition to life after playing professional sports. I'm sure the adjustment had to be difficult for you after being president of the United States. But in this next stage in your life, did you ever think you'd be the warm-up act for Bill Burr? <laughs> Listen, th th this is a highlight of my week, man. What are you talking about? Uh, Burr, Burr is actually a funny guy. I I've enjoyed his specials. <laughs> Although in one of his Netflix specials, I think he was... He was cracking on Michelle, so uh, he's lucky that she's not on tonight. Yeah. Oh, I, got, I, got to, I got to scratch out some of my jokes then, the questions, I guess. Not a good move. Not a good move. <laughs> Mr. President, we both had the pleasure of meeting you at the White House uh, Super Bowl 50 for me. That was a real thrill. Just be honest, who was the better guest? Well, uh, I have to say that both of you guys were gentlemen. Um, there were some, there was some silverware missing after that visit, <laughs> but but we could <laughs> we couldn't directly trace it to you. So now we, we we had a great time. Look, one of the fun things about being president, team. and there's a lot of stuff that's not so fun, uh, is you know having a chance to greet you know world class athletes, giving them a chance to shine. Uh, and, you know, it, it, it's a lot of fun. Although I, I will tell you, when you get football teams in, I'm a skinny guy as it is. And then when I'm standing next to some of these linemen, uh, you know, or they're shaking my hands and, and they got, like, paws, you know, it, it, it does make you feel a little bit, uh, a little bit small. I hear this. I can't remember this. Omaha. <laughs> Omaha. 44 is Mike. That's pretty good. Bags, Montana. <laughs> he, went he went with the mic point and the and the inside zone audible. I forgot about that, Mr. President. Good stuff. A few years ago, Peyton told me that he was going to uh, play golf with you one day at Riviera. Afterwards, I, I called him to find out how it went, and uh, he wouldn't answer my calls and, and wouldn't talk about it. I just want to know... <laughs> How did that day go? Because I have a feeling something bad happened because he, he never wanted to talk about it. You know what? We, we had a great match. 
And I'm not going to talk about anybody's game because I'm pretty sure I, I hit into the woods and trees a, a, a couple of times. And there aren't that many woods or trees at Riviera. <laughs> so, uh, the, the uh, no, but Payton's game's pretty tight. He, he's got a nice, uh, nice draw on his on his drive, and uh, you know, not not bad short game for a big guy. Uh, but but <laughs> I, I have gotten better since then. Peyton, so uh, I'm, I'm ready for a rematch. I, I was imp- I was impressed with your game, Eli. I was nervous. Big crowd on the first tee. There's no mulligans allowed at Riviera on the first tee. The president gets up, stripes one down the middle. I get up, cold top it into the yeah. doom yeah. down below. Uh, our fields outside. There you go. That's okay. okay. I, I like believe that's a touchdown, people. That's, that is exactly what it is. Man, it's been a Bears minute for the Bears. Good. The Bears are going to demand that you're a guest this, on this show. This may be the, every yeah. week. I'm I'm trying to figure out: Have they scored ten points in the first half in a while, or in the first quarter, or first half? I don't. I don't think I, so. I, I like what like doing right now. the film I was watching. Yeah, I mean the film I was watching. It's been a struggle. <laughs> the, the red zone, especially. Yeah. So. No, I, I, like, I like what they're doing here. You know, uh, Eli, you'll appreciate this. You know who I'm really envying right now is the Giants. You know, because Field reminds me a little bit of Daniel Jones. You know, cre- obviously, we don't have Saquon, but, but create systems where they can succeed. You know? Yeah. It looks like Justin Field's running right there. I, you know, um, it's funny, I talked to Coach Belichick and asked him, you know, was Mac Jones or Bailey Zappi imitating Justin Fields during scout team? And he's like, yeah, neither one of them can imitate Justin Fields. So it's hard to uh, kind of give the defense just an idea of how good Fields is. But Mac's making some good plays with his legs, which uh, third and one, they should get this one. All right, he watch the end of this run here. Mac Jones with the slide. Watch this right here. The little kick, right? Ooh. D linemen don't like this. You can't hit the quarterback, but yet he can kick you right in the jewels, right? That's why D linemen don't like quarterbacks. That's that's why? Because of that? The kick? <laughs> yeah. Like oh, Billy ooh. Sims back in the uh, 80s kicking a Houston was, order, if I recall. Kung Fu Billy Sims, they called it. Hey, yeah. As a, as a defensive player, like, you hate to have an injury timeout where everybody's just focusing on you, and they got to like, oh, let's see what happened right here. And there's the play. Like, that one, you got, you got to try to limp off the field for that after that one. And really force them to, uh, you know, force them to try to run the ball and say, hey, we're not going to stop the run until you run it on us. Oh, what a play. What? There he wow. is. Same guy. That's how. That's how you come back. Hey, you, you kick me, I intercept you. That's my comeback. That's what we do here. That's the rule. That's the rule. Rookie Brisker there. What a play. We oh, talked about Jackson play. being a ball hawk. How about Brisker there? How about that catch? It's a different different version of ball hawk. I thought Mac was going to throw that away, didn't you, Eli? I thought he was throwing yeah. it away. I don't think so. You saw the tight end there. Hi-ya. Easy play action. Take a shot. Got him. Nice catch. He's in. He's in. Wow, what a play. Nice catch. How did he get so open? I mean, that was a a decent fake. It wasn't that good of a fake where everybody in the secondary should bite. I mean, corners aren't even going to tackle anyway. Why are they biting the run fake? Wow. Gave him a little juice there. Let's see. Catch. Oh, he was, he was in motion on the, he was in, he was in motion on the left side, on the right side. This kind of ran like a shallow route and then wheeled it. And there's just no one there. Again, the play action, those linebackers, safeties is all really, they play the run. They play the run so hard that they all get up there and just, he just kind of snuck by them all. That's a touchdown. I think he touched them as he was in the air on the dive. Great effort there by Aguilar to get in there. Yeah. Really cool design. It'll be, it'll be fun to 
Uh, he played this. And tell you, what you, can tell, you can tell he's telling Bill. This guy, there's always a guy that knows early. So <laughs> I mean, he's telling him, he's telling Bill the bad news. So they're getting their uh, first and goal from the one play ready. Uh, I, I think he's up. Uh, that's what I say. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Touchdown. Good job. See? That guy was wrong. wrong. The guy was wrong. Was, Why would you wrong. tell Bill the wrong news? Why would you not try to get on his good side? Nice the prediction. Bad amateur move there. You're being bad at sorry, predicting what? what the ref is telling me? the head coach. Patriots on the toss, took the ball. There's your quarterback draw call right there, E. Good call. There it is. Quarterback lead. You never they never called that also. Running back is your your tailback, your lead blocker, and you're following him. Do you know how to read a block, Peyton? I don't. I do not. Good. I never Good. played defense, never played special teams, never have run behind a lead blocker, ever. <laughs> Wasn't a lot of push there. I'm not sure I'd run behind two guards that didn't practice all week. Okay? Can we get out? Can we do something else? Kind of running behind your center there. It's more of a, more of a center. No. no, you know, if you're having to introduce yourself to a guy in the huddle, I wouldn't run behind him. I think you want to get points. You want to get it. Yeah, I think I think you got a good see, drive going right here. You can see the head coach. You can see Everflu is talking about it right there. The scenario. Hey, if you get fourth and one, you go for it. If you get an incompletion here, you got to kick it on fourth and five. Oh, there you go. Love that play call. Another one that you nor I are familiar with. <laughs> you don't know quarterback sweep? Quarterback sweep. Quarterback sweep. Double crack by the receivers. They're pulling the left tackle. Vince Lombardi be proud of that. They hit it in the alley, as he said. How many this broken is. tackles do you have? Two-minute warning. Three, three. Zero. Maybe one. Maybe one. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Okay. Just like you talked about, they wanted to have a six-minute drive. They're well in their oh, way man. of doing that. All out. They're bringing zero, E. They see it. They're going to trigger. Right, he so got the way the center goes, the other linebacker's going to blitz. He goes left, the guy blitzes. Oh. They got the perfect oh. play. They got a touchdown. Bam. Wide running back screen out of empty. The Bears lined up in that, hoping to get all out cover zero. They got it. You couldn't have had a better play called there. He does a great job, Paid. If he would have thrown it originally when he wanted to, the defensive end is way up the field. He was going to throw it right to him. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> he got rocked, too. Unfortunately, it's put zero. How about that block by Jones on a corner? That's an offensive lineman's dream. I get to come out and block ooh, ooh. a defensive back. Ooh. Yeah, he's going to feel That's that late. one. That's late. He was, a little, he was a little banged up after the Washington uh, game. You know, he, he kind of needed those 11 days to heal. He's taking a lot of sacks, takes a lot of hits. Right there, kind of a one-two punch. Really good job by Justin Fields seeing that blitz zero. They obviously had uh, New England does some zero down here, getting to the alert uh, right there, get a blitz zero beater. Hey, what do we, what do we see on this play? All out blitz, cover zero, zero people in the middle of the field. The Patriots bring in more than the Bears can block. You can't hold it. They have the wide receiver screen called. It's to the running back. Number 70 gets out and blocks the safety. You couldn't have a better play called at a better time. Wide receiver screens to the outside, running back screens to the outside versus cover zero. That was my number one audible all my years in playing. Uh oh. Ooh. There's zone read to a receiver. Now that's one. That's There's one you don't it. practice wow. a lot. Zone read to a receiver. Now how often do you think you do that handoff exchange in practice? Yeah. Especially if you're getting all the reps all week. You do it twice. You do it twice. And it's, let's get two reps at this. Ooh. You might have been looking at <laughs> Receiver also might, doesn't probably like seeing a defensive end running at him unblocked. But still, just the ball that. handling. The yeah. ball handling. I mean, 
Great play by the Bears. Great turnover. Allen's happy. Hey, run the ball there. Go get two or three yards. Make it third and three. Three. Yikes. Watch this. Watch this. I mean, he just made some unbelievable plays. I think he dropped it on purpose. <laughs> kind of lure the D lineman in there. Jeez. I mean, that's, that's what I've seen more than anything is watching him just, I mean, just some unbelievable runs on, on plays that look terrible. A couple screens to the back where the defensive lines, they're not blocking. They're like letting the rush come in on a screen, and he couldn't throw it. He still escapes and makes plays, so he's entertaining to watch. You'll see the spy right there over the right guard. He's in there. He's like, you're not running anymore. I don't know if you want a defensive tackle as your spy. I'm not sure he yeah. can keep up with yeah. Justin Fields. You would have a defensive tackle spy for you because they all the same speed. To the program, Bill, you grew up in Canton, Massachusetts. You're a huge Patriots fan. You're on the record saying yeah, that Yeah, can Eli, I deal with the brother... nightmare of talking to two Manning brothers? Good Lord. <laughs> this is like the quarterback antichrist for me. <laughs> Well, I didn't know I gave you nightmares. You said that Eli did. Now that you're face to face with him, anything you want to get off your chest with Eli? No, 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 no. Those those are long ago. Those were brutal. They ripped my heart out, but you know, fortunately we had some luck a few years ago. But I when they when they won on the first one, you know, the helmet catch, the drop pick, the miss sack, I was like, all right, it wasn't our day. But when Eli did it again, I had, you know, I had to be like, all right, this guy's a gangster, man. I, I, yeah, so, I, I just, you know. What are you, what are you seeing? Are you, pass? Are we having a You let uh, it go, there, Eli. You were literally looking at your own end zone, and you somehow completed it. <laughs> is there a quarterback controversy going on in, uh, in New England right now? What are your thoughts? I know you don't, you're not too opinionated. <laughs> It probably is. I'm just glad I don't have to make that decision. Can they stop showing sad Mac Jones on the sideline? We get it. He got taken out of the game. My God. Finally, can we stop this? This guy's legs just never stop moving. That was your RPO. He finally handed it off. Hey, hey Bill, you know, when, when uh, Brady left New England for Tampa, a lot of fans, New England fans, just stopped rooting for him. But you stayed true to you. I mean, what do you say to all those New England fans that just – abandoned Brady after he left. I love that he went down to Tampa and won another one because that shut everybody up who kept doing all this ticky-tack there, cheating, weighing footballs and all of that crap while they were, you know, those other teams, not going to name those teams there, Peyton, might have been pumping some <laughs> crowd noise in. Maybe your owner sat on the competition committee and made the way we covered your receivers illegal, you know, things like that. But, you know, I don't want to get into that. So I'm so glad he went down there. Maybe you guys tanked half a season to get Andrew Luck, but that's all good. Hey, here's my thing. Why this stupid deflate gate? I love it. It was an independent investigation by the owner of the losing team. Gee, did they find something? It was so stupid. But meanwhile, the Astros probably cheated as bad as the 1919 White Sox, okay? And they didn't bring that up once during that Yankee series. I was literally rooting for the Yankees. I was so annoyed as a Patriots fan. And I think that when you do some ticky tack oh. stuff, like like a cork bat or something, they don't care. But when you really cheat on a on a level like the Astros did, everybody has like a gag rule. You have to shut up about it. So, <laughs> sorry, I'm talking over the place here. Well, I wasn't a call him out because he's you know he has a makeup artist full time that he employs that's in the studio with him right now. She has a little blue comb and comes in this combs his hair like a little kid it's like it's like a sharpie comb it's not even a you can't have a full brush for that hair it's just like a little a little baby yeah there you go oh well now we're good there yeah, we you go. look like you're into it look at that yeah and now look he doesn't he doesn't eat food he's got a smoothie now he, he he's scared to eat on set we're gonna watch that so he's just drinking his meals why, oh, I mean, why are we not going to I, commercial I, during this time out what are we why are we still here I have to say, as a, as a comedian, Peyton, it really bugs me how funny you are. You, you crushed <laughs> you. it on SNL. We are going to commercial.
Not true. Receiver. I think everybody hey, is you would uh, audible in agreement, out of this, right? Yeah. Would you audible out of this? Yeah. Absolutely. Would you guys audible yeah. out of this? Yeah. If it's a run play call, <laughs> definite audible. <laughs> <laughs> so play action coach. is your friend at the goal yeah. line. Play action, yeah. yeah. It's like if all y'all are saying you should be running it, then I should be throwing it. That's that's a, you know that's his mentality. That worked out good. It worked out well. Yeah, he threw a lot of touchdowns. No scrambling though. You guys, you guys might sneak one in there, right? They wouldn't expect Please it. Why not? Play clock to ten. Thank you. If we could, we would have. It wasn't by choice. It was by not just not having the ability to. All right, let's see it. Did you ever scramble uh, one in a few? Yeah, I got a few. I just yeah, when when there was no other options. Once every four years, everybody. Right, you like a run up the middle. You like, you like just running the Montgomery up the middle, huh? That's your call. Montgomery up the middle. Yeah, I, I like I it. I don't mind it here. Second second down here. Why not?